Okay, quick summary. Quick summary, quick summary. So I was there for uh, for all four days. Um, fortunately, I was poorly, so I didn't get much uh, footage, unfortunately. I recorded a little bit, like you see this, the, I recorded a bit of like this, the PlayStation uh, stand and stuff. And actually, I recorded the, the Sonic Forces bit um, and whatnot. Um, games that weren't there, which I wasn't sure was going to be there, was like Bubsy. If Bubsy's coming out. Um, I wasn't sure whether it's going to make an appearance, and it didn't. Didn't realise Final Fantasy Dissidia was going to be there. So I played that. Amazing. I love Dissidia on the PSP. I am definitely hope to get that when that comes out. So I played some of that. I played terribly because I haven't played Dissidia in such a long time. But naturally I went to Cloud because I just normally... I don't know, I naturally go to Cloud and I just feel comfortable with him. At least I was in the original, in, in, in Dissidia. So I normally go for Cloud. So I thought, I figured, yeah, I'll just go in. First day was pretty packed, so I didn't really get to go in and play a lot of the games I want. So I just followed around Jamie, and we tried, was it, I believe, South Park, which I think was the first game, the fractured butthole. I do find South Park funny, but I'm not, like, a super duper huge fan. I haven't watched, this, like, super duper loads of episodes, like, say, Jamie, or even, like, Mark, um, my, my, my other, other mate, Leon. So, I don't really care too much. I heard people liked, um, was it the Stick of Truth? Was it the Stick of Truth the first one? And, you know, it was as crazy as you thought. Literally, the demo was, you, you, you're you going around talking to strippers, and, you know, it's in, it's in, it's, you know, it's 18 plus, so, yes, they're all naked, and got kind of weird when you had to invite two, two guys in and pretend to be girls because they're drunk off their ass. It, it said South Park, but it has RPG, you know, thing of jiggy. It took me forever to figure out the fucking stripper game mini game. I was like, I was like, how do I fucking do this? And then I just mashed, and I was like, oh, okay, you just mashed. So there you go. I played that. <laughs> I mean, it's South Park. If you like South Park, I'm sure you might be interested to pick it up. And if you like Stick of Truth, like even like the RPG, the, the RPG mechanics and stuff, even the RPG was solid, then um, I'm sure you'll sure will like it. So, yeah, yeah, other than that, I mean, you don't really get to play too long for most of these games. Or in a lot of cases, like when I want to play Dragon Ball Fighters, <laughs> I kind of didn't want to get off, but there were people behind me just kind of like, so when are you going to get off? See, I always feel bad, but I always know when I stand behind people and I'm waiting to get a turn, I know they don't even really, like, look back or really care. They're just kind of like, you have to come back later. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, when, when I saw fighters there, I was like, I bolted. Um, fortunately, naturally, packed, completely packed. Yeah, the Xbox and uh, the, the PS4 stand. Um, now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Dragon Ball Fighters or Dragon Ball Fighters Z. It's kind of pronounced. Well, it's kind of. I don't know if it's actually been officially pronounced that, but like, the wording says like Dragon Ball Fighters Z, but I kind of just prefer to go with Dragon Ball Fighters or Fighters or whatever. And since it was announced, trailer and everything, I didn't play the closed beta. Um, kind of wish I did. I was like, okay, I gotta try this, and when I knew it was at AGX. Um, luckily, the next day on Friday, I bolted there um, and got to play uh, one match with the CPU, and one match against uh, this gentleman. I think like the staff were just like, "Hey, why don't you two have a match?" Because you've just, you know, played the CPU. I was on my own because, because I'm, you know, Jamie's not really into DBC. I wasn't the only one there, so I was like, you know, it's fine. I'll let Jamie go off with his brother and do whatever. And I'll go play fighters because I have to play this game, boy. So you know. I played Sonic Forces, and I'll get my thoughts into that, but I will just say that Fighters might have been the best game I've played, possibly. For me. For me. I mean, I'm a big I'm a big doozy fan. This game's amazing. I actually really love this game. I can't wait to play it. I hope I have money to get it. I really do. And it comes out in January, I believe, next year. It's so much fun. I mean, I'm not normally good with traditional fighting games, but, I mean, I just tried typical, like, quarter circle type thing you know <clears throat> but uh mate it's it's beautiful the animation is so fluid you know just it's 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 great it's it's, it's a fantastic fighting game i really love it um, i had so much fun and like i said i did not want to get off 
Um, I really, really enjoyed that. Unfortunately, there was no like promotional thing with fighters. Like I didn't get no shirt or a random poster or anything. And unfortunately, there wasn't really too much free stuff. Um, Jamie was saying to me like, it seems like every year there's less free stuff. Unfortunately, so which kind of sucks. You know, it is what it is. Never mind. Um, but yeah, really loved it. Great fighting game. I really hope I can get it. Um, you know, I don't get stuck for money um, when that comes out. <clears throat> Especially since, like, I want to get Bubsy, believe it or not, um, hopefully, and Forces is, like, November, and it's not far from Bubsy, because I think Bubsy is literally, like, the end of October, and then, like, Forces is, like, early November, so, yeah, two, two, two games on release, it's going to be a lot of money, so we shall, we shall see, um, but, um, at least Forces is not until January, so, I mean, hopefully I can get some money, for them to at least pay for that, but <laughs> hopefully, um, I think if you pre-order, you also get like bonus characters. Well, I think you get uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, and Vegeta, or just Super Saiyan Blue. Um, I prefer to say Super Saiyan Blue, but they 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 literally name it SSGSS. -S. So, you know, if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, great, great. Um, I love it. Great two D fighter. Um, can't wait, I really hope I can get it. That's all I can say. I, I, it, yeah. Oh man. That was so much fun. It was, it was so much fun. Um, and that was that was on Friday. I'm trying to think on like other stuff that I played on uh trying to think on Thursday. No, I did play something forces on Thursday, didn't I? I think I did. I I, I think I did. So alright, we'll talk about Sonic Forces. So Okay, um, you had four stages you could play, or four levels. I could have sworn that I saw someone play as classic Sonic in a stage, but I didn't see an option. I only saw the boss fight. So I only got to play as classic Sonic in a boss fight because I couldn't see an option to play as classic Sonic. But I could have been wrong. I could have sworn I saw someone play classic Sonic in like Green Hills and I'm like I'm like, how do I do that? <laughs> oh wait, I'll just beat my copy up Sonic One. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, or am I? I mean or I could just play Generations, I mean. I'm not wrong, <laughs> but um, so you had you had a uh, like four I guess four modes to play as essentially well uh, one one boss fight uh, and and three levels. Um, so you got to play as modern Sonic, and if you've seen the trailer for the first stage, um, basically I played that the the like the city level being like blown up by the egg robos. Um, so that was cool. Um, I played it. Did I play it twice? I want to say I play it twice because I guess in my mindset I was like it's just going to be like Generations controls because Generation controls I think is like the most solid that Modern Sonic has been because um, Unleashed was like the start of it and it was great but it was still a bit clunky it needed to it needed things to be ironed out and things and I feel like Generations got that right balance when I played Forces I actually tweeted this um, on Twitter, for anyone who might be following me at, at Game Busters J or not, um, I basically, well, while I was there, I was like, to me, Modern Sonic felt clunky. Now, if anyone happened to be watching this and you've played like the demo, can you let me let me know what you think of Modern Sonic? Because he felt clunky. Um, I couldn't slide either, so I don't know if sliding is going to be removed. Um, I could quick, I could quick step, like in generations. I could stump, boost, homing attack. I couldn't slide there. I was tr like, when I was like turning, I was like, I'll do a, I'll do a slide. You know, couldn't do it. Pressing all the buttons, I was like, I guess. And when I looked at the, because you had like, the stand with the list of controls, so you know, it didn't say no slide. So maybe, th may maybe there's gonna be no slide. I don't know why, but yeah, just seem quite 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 odd um so yeah I, I don't know um apart from that it seemed like generations but i don't know his movement just felt clunky to me um i couldn't control him very well that's that i mean that that's what i that's why it's the kind of first impression so i was a bit disappointed in that sense i was just like why does he feel like this you know i, I don't know maybe maybe it's had a fault with control i'm not too sure but to me he felt it didn't feel t didn't feel too good, um, yeah. So I don't know. 
Um, I then played Classic Sonic, which I think, I mean, it's hard to say, but I think he controlled better. I want to say he seemed similar to Generations, um, which is fine. But again, I was just in a boss fight, and it's just a short area, so I can't really get into his controls because I'm not going for a level. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, and it was basically, again, if you you have or not watched the trailer, um, basically uh, Eggman is doing another rehash and actually using the, uh, the ball and the chain um, in Green Hill Zone, but instead he's using an actual, uh, like a buzzsaw. Um, but when you beat him, he, for some reason, gets gets into the Egg Dragon from Sonic Unleashed. So he uses that three times now, he used it from Unleashed Generations, and he's using it again. Granted, he's using Egg Robos again, so, I mean, but, but yeah, he got into that. And, I mean, it seemed like the first boss, because, you know, it's Green Hill Zone, it's always the first level. It would be weird if it wasn't. Um, so... Or at least for classic Sonic, I guess. Um, really easy. Just dodges attacks. He threw like bombs at you, and you like jump into them, and then you hit into them. It's really easy. The one thing I will say, which I don't know, maybe I never paid attention to this, but um, your rings don't really scatter. They just seem to disappear. At least for me, every time like I, I got rings, they would just like disappear, and I couldn't do anything about it, which is kind of annoying. It's just like. Am I playing like the Master System slash Game Gear games where your rings just kind of disappear instantly or you know they just like become one ring or whatever? I was just like, I was like that's weird but but alright. So yeah alright easy enough. Moving on to the custom character which I don't think you could actually custom. You, you get a choice between like three weapons which I think represents uh, wisps as well. Um, you've got Burst Wisps, I think it's the Burst Wisp, which I think is returning from the DS version of Sonic Colors, because it wasn't in the Wii version, so I, I didn't really know, I was like, what's this? And I was like, oh, I think I heard about this, this is in the DS version, I think, so, um, so that was in there, you know, which kind of gives you like a, like a extra jump. You had this Lightning Wisp thing, which I think it's new, um, which is essentially like your light speed dash for him, kind of, kind of like a light speed dash thing. Um, well, also, it's, it's, you can use it as, like, an electric whip, um, because they, they all have, have their own powers, because you also had, like, the cube, where you turn all the enemies into cube, so that was kind of neat. I want to say the custom character controlled a bit better than Mon Sonic, um, but he did feel, again, kind of clunky, in my opinion, kind of. Um, this is all strictly 2D, though, like, the whole level was completely 2D, whereas Modern Sonic was 3D. But um, yeah, the custom character was uh, was uh, was um, in 2D, and uh, was it Green Hill Zone again? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, na like naturally, yeah, 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 it was. I, I remember now. Um, and then you kind of get like a mini boss section at the end, where this like giant Walker crab thing, which again I think there is footage for it, um, was chasing you. Not too bad. Um, just dodging the the blocks, and it, and then you get a quick time event where. Um, the uh, the custom character will like use his uh, grappling hook thing to like wrap it, wrap around its legs and trip it over like it does in the uh, <coughs> in the trailer. Um, so that's neat. Um, and then the next one, which I didn't really look into, I only heard, was the like the buddy mode, where Sonic is running with your character, and you you kind of use teamwork. Um, there are sections where I was like, oh, I can't slide, how am I going to turn? It was automatic. The custom character would use his grappling hook, grab onto Sonic, and use the grappling hook to slide around. It looked kind of cool, but it was just kind of like, oh, I've lost control. It just seemed weird. I was so used to controlling myself completely when it comes to turns and stuff with like modern Sonic that this buddy system was like, nah. I got you, I suppose. Let me do it. I'll do it automatically. So that was kind of odd. I was just like, mm, okay, well, whatever. It kind of freed me off, you know. I'm just, I'm just like, yeah, I'll try and turn or something. And then it's like, nah, just kind of did it automatically. So I was like, all right. Um, I mean, fine enough, I suppose. Um, sure. Um, you get like uh, this, like boost, like super, super duper special boost ability which lasts so long where like Sonic and the main character would just blast for everything um, again it's just just like the boost but super but it played like the uh, the main theme I believe of forces when I first did it 
um, it was the non-instrumental. And when I when I played the game again, it was the it was the, the like the, the voice, the singing. So I was like, hmm. I don't know if it was just like I triggered the wrong version, or maybe it's random. Maybe maybe sometimes it's the vocal, sometimes it's not. Um, which I believe is Crash Forty, I think. Um, so I mean, I don't mind the theme. I'm not a big fan of it personally, but you know, it, it's all right. Uh, again, I used to lightning wisp, and they they obviously wanted you to because um, there were trails of rings everywhere. So it's like here you go, here's your light speed dash, I guess. Um, so I did that. I one thing I will say I do kind of like it's a bit janky as well. Is the lightning whip wisp is like you can when you attack. Cause this is in three D by the way. I forgot to mention this the 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 buddy level. Um, is basically like electric whip. Um, where you just clean house like a lot of the time again I feel like that they want you to use that power but you had the option to choose whatever whatever they had available there um, a lot of the time you'd be standing on like, the, like these corks, kind of like a factory level you'd be standing on like these corks um, like gears and stuff and there would be a row of enemies and naturally um, like I was using the whip and it literally just whipping all the enemies around the circle. The only thing, the, one, the thing I like about it is, you know, you just stand still and you can just turn around and whip around. When you move, you you do like a quick dash, like a quick step, like you lunge. I guess that's the best way, you quickly lunge, which kind of throws me off. You go, you go, 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 go lunge there, lunge there. I'm like, whoa, like, why, why am I, why do you move so fast, so quickly when you attack? Um, I personally wish it was more flowing, where you can control your cat, like you can move slowly and he just moves his arm. You know what I mean? Not, let's dash forward, because I keep thinking I was going to fall off. Um, so that kind of threw me off, but other than that I liked it, pretty effective against that level, that's for sure anyway, cleaning out the, cleaning out the enemies and, and, and whatnot. Um, cut, I forgot to mention the custom character can do a homing attack, and they seem to have like a long ranged one where he can use his like grappling hook. Um, to kind of just lunge in really, like use the grappling hook to grab onto the enemy and then just kind of pull you towards it like a super long home in the deck. So um, yeah, that, that, that that's kind of cool. Um, but that was it. They're all very short levels. There was like a section when you were diving, which was pretty much there since uh, Unleashed. Kind of reminded me of Chemical Plant diving specifically where you got like lasers trying to stop you and stuff. So yeah, that was, that was neat. And you also had like the like the radio com where like the characters were talking to you like Knuckles and Amy and stuff um, yeah overall um, I'm, I'm still interested but I was a bit disappointed by the controls to me it just felt clunky and a bit of a mess and Jamie kind of agreed with me Grant is not a big Sonic fan as I am but he did feel like the control was a bit off um, so if that is the case hopefully it's not going to be like that in the final product um, we shall see but, I mean, that and Decidia and Fighters were really the main ones. I did try Odyssey. Um, Odyssey was, uh, was fun. Odyssey was, Odyssey was fun. The, the, the weight was ridiculous, but Odyssey was fun. You know, it took me a minute to, to be like, oh, you can almost use your hat to turn into anything. Um, which I knew about, but I wasn't sure what you could do. And it's like, oh, hey, yeah, you can become, like, electricity and... and current your way up this uh, um, this post and along this line and I'm like oh okay and Mario can just ride ride, ride motorcycles without a license and uh, drive vehicles as well um, yeah and it's kind of creepy when he just takes over random people yeah that's kind of odd um, I do like the hat mechanic I do like the fact that you can just throw it um, hold it in the air and you can jump on it so you can actually jump on your hat, on your hat and bounce up to it um, I've always been a big fan of the long jump, um, like since 64, and I felt the long jump doesn't really take you anywhere in, in Mario Odyssey, at least in the beta that I played. I was trying to long jump everywhere, and I'm like, I'm not really going anywhere, so that's what you call a long jump. And I was saying to Jamie, I was like, what did you think? And he's like, yeah, you kind of agree with me. Um, you can also like roll into a ball and you're like a spin dash. I'm not sure if you can actually hurt enemies with that. But yeah, you literally just like a tum like, like a little tumble thing, a tumble thing as well. Um, other than that, I love the graphics. I was playing the was like New Donk City, um, collecting moons, which is essentially the opposite to the stars. Um, speak. I will admit it is kind of odd with Mario being in a realistic world, but that's what makes it interesting. It's different. 
um, you know, Sonic's been doing it since Adventure. It's time for, I guess, Mario to jump into more realistic type of things. You, you had a choice between New Donk or this desert level. I didn't actually choose New Donk because I thought, well, I always see desert levels with Mario. It's different. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I had fun. Uh, there was lots of purple coins. I'm not sure what uh, what they do. <clears throat> yeah, literally, it was just like go any you go anywhere you want in the city. You had like ten minutes or so. Um, I got a few moon moon star things, whatever. Um, I was basically uh, collecting it for Pauline, which, in case you guys don't know, was okay. I had a quick edit there. I didn't, I didn't realize my battery was nearly low. Um, so yeah, Pauline was like uh, Mario's first girlfriend. So that was interesting. Um, so you got to speak, got to speak to her. She basically looked like not Brown Peach, which you could arguably, arguably say is Daisy, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that was it was it was cool. Um, I had lots of fun. I didn't again. I didn't pay too much because again, that game was so popular. Naturally, they were like ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also played Elder Scrolls on Switch because again, we were just trying things out. And I mentioned to the guy I've never played Elder Scrolls. I know Mark has. Uh, this is Elder Scrolls Four, right? Um, and is it four or is it five? Not Oblivion, it's the um, Skyrim, sorry. Yeah, 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 Elder Scrolls Skyrim. It seemed to control fire, I didn't see no drop issues or anything. Again, I didn't really get to do much. Oh, I mean, it's an RPG, I mean, it kind of depends on where you are. I mean, you pretty much start off with basic materials, so it's like, well, I'm not going to get very far in a short amount of time, am I? But, um, well, I didn't get to play as much as Jamie because um, the, the guy said to me, oh, sorry, you're going to have to come off because I'm being told off for letting people play too long. And I'm like, ah, all right, so... I had the bugger off. <laughs> I buggered off and didn't play that. That's fine. So yeah, literally the only other game was Lucky's Tale because naturally it was a platformer. But I, I, I couldn't be asked to to wait that long for the queues. You know, some of the queues. Naturally, you go to events. The queues are ridiculous. At one point, we're just like, fuck it. Let's just go into Mario Odyssey. We hardly moved. There are a lot of queues like that. Um, I also played Detroit, which I didn't know too much about, but it's like a um, like a real, it's meant to be like a realistic game where you like, you make a decision and that will decide your action. So it's that type of thing where you play as an android. That was interesting. A lot of the time you were just trying to, basically you were trying to save this girl. You're an android. You're trying to save this girl from this other android who's apparently just had enough of being manipulated and controlled by humans. Um, and I guess it's like, hey, yeah, I'm gonna take this girl and I'm gonna show you this is what I can like. Um, I can take a life if I want, sort of thing. Um, and naturally I fucked up because I didn't, I, I, I was in a cutscene and I literally thought it was a cutscene where I was like, oh, I failed. And then I saw the, the A prompt at the last minute, was it A or X? And then I was like, wait, this is, this is a, this is a quick time event. And naturally I didn't realize, so I pressed it too late and she died. And it was just like mission failed. I was like, oh, well, well shit. <laughs> she died. Oh well. But, <laughs> um, but uh, one thing. I was interested in um, the most is um, the investigation where you're looking for information. Essentially, you're trying to look for information within the building, um, and the more information you get would tend to raise your possibility of if you're going to do the right decision, if you're going to save the girl or not. Like your your probability would be like really low, but like the chances of you saving this girl or saving both the android and the girl it's like unlikely and then the more information you get it's like oh oh you got more information the more you know makes it easier for you to be like oh hey I you know I can deal with the situation better and it reminded me a lot of Batman Arkham um, like scanning stuff and you had to like recreate film that I like I always loved that from Batman Arkham so I thought that was cool uh, don't know whether I would give Detroit a try, maybe, probably not on release though, maybe one day, I know Jamie's probably going to get it, he'd like to get it, so I could always just sponge off him or something one day, who knows, I don't know, but um, it was interesting, again, not a game I really went in to go and see, but I, I tried it, and yeah, I, I liked what it was, so yeah, an interesting, an interesting game, I don't really play games like that normally, um, but no, I, I like what I played. Other than that, really, I just kind of... I mean, I, I played some Sonic 3 <laughs> in the retro stand, because why not? Played some Sonic Mania, because why not? There were people kind of looking behind me, I think, confused, because I was, like, I guess, doing... Like, I was playing the game like I knew what I was doing, because I'm sure there were people there who would not played Mania and they were playing it. But I was like, well, yeah, Mania's been out for forever. I've, I've, I've 
beating it several times and I was just messing around with like Tails picking up Sonic and I think some people were just like wait you can do that and I'm like yep <laughs> so <laughs> I also did like the, the level glitch in Sonic 3 and again I think someone was like what's going on what's this person doing I did like the level rap in Hydro City I was just messing about I was waiting for Jamie a lot of the time you know I didn't really like, like I say I, lots of merch stands but I didn't really get much um, there wasn't really too much um, that interested me compared to like when I went before um, which is actually why I only got this because Crash Bandicoot shirt but I was like oh you know I've been wanting to get a Crash Bandicoot shirt this was this was cool there was like a Dragon Ball Z shirt I was interested in but I was like no I'm gonna save my monies <laughs> so um, I didn't bother but um, yeah other than that um, I mean different location definitely a lot bigger than London um, I did enjoy the event, like I said, I enjoyed the event. I think the event was fine. It was just everything outside of it. Not gonna lie, I wish there was less first person shooters, but you know, it is what it is. I knew for the most part well, what to expect. So I was just like, eh, well, you know, I tried I tried some things. Um, I tried some other first person shooters, which I, I honestly can't really remember. Was it Far Cry, maybe? Maybe. Um, I didn't try Call of Duty. I was like, yeah, I'm not interested in Call of Duty. At all, so I, I did not. I think Jerry went in there, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go somewhere else and I'm gonna do something else. So, um, lots of indie games which I didn't really, didn't really try. Um, a lot of the time, I was watching like Jamie or his brother play like other games. So you know, I mainly played what I wanted to play. Um, the highlight for me was Fighters, hands down, um, and and the city to to an extent. I didn't really get to play much of it, but. I mean, like, I, I didn't even think it would be there, honestly. So the fact that it was there, I was like, oh, I'm so excited. Um, you know, and, and Mario Odyssey, I liked Mario Odyssey. Forces, I don't know. I'm still going to get it, of course. I'm a Sonic fan, but... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Some things I like about it, but overall, it's just really like, mm, you know. <laughs> I think I'll stick to Mania for now. <laughs> but we'll see. I think that's it. Um, other than that, I'm not going to go next year too much money it was very expensive uh, more expensive than when I went last time uh, so you know that's the thing when you go to the convention it's, all, it's a yearly thing and who knows I might be rich by the time I, I probably not probably not no I, I, I would uh, I would say not I'm just trying to think if there's anything else in particular um, no no I don't I don't think so um, again, wish there was more free stuff, <laughs> of course, um, but, you know, I mean, can't go wrong with that Forces t-shirt, it looks pretty cool, so, and I'm glad I got this Crash t-shirt. So, yeah, I think that's it, that's my, uh, video, and this is probably going to be longer than I want it to be, so, yeah, let me know if you haven't been watching this, if you went, what did you think of the event? Um, naturally, I wish I wasn't so ill, um, but... Uh, it, it is how it is, unfortunately, you know, it's, I, um, I kind of recovered, like I said, I kind of recovered Friday, and I kind of dipped again on Saturday and Sunday, so, you know, it is how it is, but, you know, I have fun, and, yeah, that, that's about it, um, so, uh, thank you so much for, for watching, hopefully I've shown a little bit of footage here and there, um, hopefully, uh, if not, I do apologise. Again, I was ill. I did want to actually show you guys my hotel because it was literally a maze. <laughs> um, but again, I was not feeling up to to it. I was just a lot of the time I come back from the event and I was just tired. I wanted to get into the room and lay down. And I can tell you that Jamie won't be staying there. <laughs> nor no, no, I not again. <laughs> that's all. That's all I'll say. Like I said, outside of the event was a different thing altogether.